Sixth grade, module four, lesson four, problem set. Build subtraction equations using the indicated equations. So this first whole section, one through five, is different from the second one because this first one where the divisor indicates the size of the units. Remember the divisor is the x right there. We have the dividend, which is 24, the divisor, which is x, and four, which is the quotient. So the divisor, meaning x, is the size of the unit. And four is then representing how many groups there are. So we can figure this out or draw a tape diagram by showing, I'm going to draw a tape diagram. And so the whole thing's worth 24. And I know that there are four groups. So then within each group, if I had 24 being my whole, if I took 24 and split it into four equal parts, there's six in each section. So what we have is 24 minus x minus x minus x minus x is equal to zero. So in each group, each piece is representing six units. So there's six units in each group. So x is equal to six. And if we wrote that division equation again, what we had was 24 minus four x's is equal to zero. Number two, 36 divided by x equals six. So here I'll write the equation first. So we have 36 and there are six groups of them. So I'm gonna do six x's. Two, three, four, five, six, and it should end up equaling zero. So then I'm gonna draw my six groups. And if I do 36 divided by six in each group, there's going to be six. So we have 36 minus x minus x, x, that x, that one, one, and it equals zero. And there are six units in each group, so x is equal to six. Okay, 28 divided by y equals seven. So we have seven groups, or seven y's. So 28 minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is gonna equal zero. So I'm gonna separate into seven groups. And 28 divided by seven is four. So in each group, I'm gonna have four. So we have 28 minus y seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven was equal to zero. And there are four units per group. So y is equal to four. Number four, 30 divided by y equals five. So there's five different groups. 30 minus five y's is equal to zero. And I'm gonna separate this into five groups. And 30 divided by five is six. So in each group there are six units.
So we can say six units per group, which means that y is equal to six. And the last one, 16 divided by z equals four. So we're gonna have 16 minus four different z's is equal to zero. So I'll separate it into four. And then 16 divided by four is four, so there's four in each group. which means that z equals four. Okay, the next one is a little bit different because it says that the divisor indicates the number of units. So this is indicating how many units we actually have. So 24 divided by x is equal to four. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram. and split it into 24 units. And then separate them into groups of four. So there's four, 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 and the last four. So what we end up with is 24 minus four, minus four, minus four, minus four, minus four, minus four is equal to zero. And we have six groups. So we, here's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six groups. So then x is equal to 6. So it's just a different way of looking at the division equation. You can say 24 minus 4 6 times. Okay, 36 divided by x equals 6. So I'm going to separate this into 36. I like to separate it, so I always try and divide it equally by, I think, of a factor of 36. So I'm going to use 6 and separate it into 6. And then separate each of those into 6s. It helps me just break it up a lot easier than if I just started trying to make it evenly into 36 pieces. And then the number of units per group is six. So I'm gonna circle six units per group. To see how many groups we get. We end up with one, two, three, four, five, six groups. And there's six in each group. So 24 minus six and X is equal to six, six groups. 28 divided by Y equals seven. Start by making 28 and I'll split it into four and then split each one into seven. And then we're gonna make groups of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's one group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven two groups, three groups, four groups. So we end up with four groups and we have 28 
minus 7, minus 7, minus 7, minus 7 is equal to 0. And each of the um, groups was equal to 4, so y is equal to 4 groups. Number 4, 30 divided by y equals 5. So I'm going to start out by drawing my tape diagram. Then I think of factors that can go into 30, just to make it easier to split up my group, and I'm going to split it into 6. And then 6 times 5 is 30, so I'm going to separate each of those into 5. And then I'm going to separate them into groups of five. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 All right, so we have six groups and if we were to write that as our subtraction problem, we have 30 minus, there's five in each group, so five minus five minus five minus five minus five minus five is equal to zero. And let's see y was equal to, in each group there were six, or there were six groups. And lastly, 16 divided by z equals four, make this into 16 and then we have to separate them into groups of four so we have four groups which means that z is equal to four and our equation will look like 16 minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 is equal to zero